six, five, four, three, two, one, take. With me today we have Joel Samuel. This is a little turnabout because usually I'm on his show, this time he's on mine. Um, Joel, uh, I guess in your background some time ago you did a little Aikido or something like that, huh? Okay, have you done anything with uh, self-defense involving knife attacks? <coughs> Just uh, for hand techniques, uh -huh. not in uh, karate. Okay, all right, well listen, what I'd like to do today is show you a real simple to learn self-defense technique, the kind of thing that you know our friends at home could pick up and watch and if they practice a little bit could uh, be able to use without actually being a practitioner of martial arts, so to speak. And we have these things on a self-defense tape that is available to the public. Uh, but anyway, um, we have this, this typical attack of, of somebody coming, there's a n number of attacks, over the top, slice, etc. Before we get into the actual technique, we need to talk a little bit about basic movement. So first of all, let's talk about the proverbial karate chop, all right? <laughs> okay. This is done with the side of the hand, and it's actually done with the bone and the meaty part here. Okay, not really just, not exactly on the side, but more here, where it's kind of meaty in the heel of your hand, all right? One way that we can do this is a straight down motion, straight, like from the top here, down. And you want your wrist to be bent in a manner so you're hitting like this, don't hit your fingers, okay? Now, when we do that, we want to sit down, we want to bend the knees as we strike, okay? So that your body weight is going down with it. Shuto Uchi, knife hand strike. Now, another nice technique that you can use that's easy to do, you don't have to be Bruce Lee or anybody particularly um, great, is to use your knee. It's a simple technique, you pick your knee up, and one idea is to go straight ahead. Now, the thing is to go out a little bit rather than straight up. In other words, not straight up like this way, but more out with your knee this way. And we don't have to, we're not kicking really with the lower part of the leg. We're trying to strike with the knee. This could be to the groin, for example, here. Um, it could be if I brought you down this way, for example, to hit you with my knee into the face area, okay? So let's try a couple of those. Right leg, strike. Good. One more time. And one more time. All right. He's a getty, knee kick. Let's take a, t a situation. Let's suppose that somebody had a knife, okay? Now, sometimes you'll see a situation where the person is attacking like this, all right? All right, let's look at the idea of how can we protect against that idea. So let's take our hands from here, bring them together in the form of a X. Okay, X, right. And then go straight out in front of you. That's it, right. So from here again, cross them and push out. Right, like that. Straight out and up, okay? Once again. Now the idea is that you want to get them crossed first and then go up, okay? So that you can, if my arm is down, I should turn around and try this, cross them first. So that now you've got kind of a supported block situation, okay? If you put your hands together here, you can actually trap me. Okay? So this will work for a club situation or a knife, okay? Now if it's a knife situation, you want to be careful that you don't get this in your head. So when you do this, you want to move your head to one side or the other as you block and get your hands this way, okay? But just make sure your head goes to one side or the other so you don't actually get stabbed, okay? Okay. Juji Uke, the X block. Okay, so let me give you an idea. You're the attacker. It comes in this way. I'm going to catch it. Okay, then I'm going to sweep it down into you and I'm going to chop they want you to attack with the other hand, this hand. Okay, I'm going to bring it down here, right between your groin, and I'm going to chop you, and then I'm going to let you taste my knee, okay? 
Now all of these are used in application. Let's make it a little bit more realistic, okay? That's real too. Sure is. Now the idea is that you bring this knife into my groin or my leg or whatever, okay? So you kind of give them something to think about there. And boom, right. Now obviously you say, well this is pretty drastic. Well, if you get stabbed with it, that's pretty drastic too, all right? So if there's a weapon here, your life is threatened. Obviously your defense can be more severe as should be, okay? So once again, remember, watch your head to one side as you block. Pull the knife down, strike, clean. Ah, he's good. Hard to poke in your knee, my <laughs> One last time, ready? Block, strike, down, strike. Okay, very good.